everybody. My name is Chelsea and today we're going to be reading the story called Introducing Teddy. And it says, a gentle story about gender and friendship. Our theme for the month of October is deep listening. And I think it's so, so, so important that if you have a friend or a family member or someone who's really, really trusting you to tell them, to tell you something that's important about themselves, if they're being vulnerable and having the courage to tell you something that's really important to them, it's really, really a good idea to do some deep listening and think about their words so that you can really be thinking about what it is that they're trying to tell you. Errol and Thomas the Teddy play together every day. They ride their bike in the backyard. They plant vegetables in the garden. And they have sandwiches for lunch in the treehouse. And they have tea parties inside when it's raining. One day, Errol woke to find the sun shining through his bedroom window. Hooray, he shouted. Come on, Thomas, let's go to the park and play. Thomas the Teddy didn't feel like playing. You seem sad today, Thomas, said Errol. Don't worry, the park will cheer you up. Thomas the Teddy wasn't so sure. Oh no, even the swing isn't working. What's wrong, Thomas? Talk to me. If I tell you, said Thomas, you might not be my friend anymore. I will always be your friend, Thomas. Thomas the Teddy took a deep breath. I need to be myself, Errol. In my heart, I've always known that I'm a girl Teddy, not a boy Teddy. I wish my name was Tilly not Thomas. Is that why you've been so sad? Errol asked. I don't care if you're a girl teddy or a boy teddy. What matters is that you are my friend. You're the best friend a bear could have, said Tilly. That was a very important thing that Tilly just shared. It's important to not just hear what somebody is saying, but to really, really listen. So did you notice that Errol used the name Tilly? Or maybe not yet, but I think that that's something really important. If somebody tells you that they want their name to be different, it's important to use the name that they're wanting you to use. Now that you're feeling better, said Errol, let's call our friend Ava. Hi, Ava. Teddy and I are at the park. Do you want to come and play? Sure, Errol. Let me just finish building my robot. Hmm. Errol didn't use the name Tilly just yet. Hi, Errol. Hi, Thomas. Ava called out as she sped toward them. Hi, Ava, said Errol. Teddy has a new name. <gasps> there you go. Now he's sharing it. Let me introduce you to Tilly. What a great name, said Ava. Let's go and play, Tilly. See, now they're using the name Tilly. Wait, I'm just moving my bow tie, said Tilly the Teddy. I've always wanted a bow instead. See how she's moving it to her head? Good for you, Tilly. Wear whatever makes you happy, said Ava. I think I'll get rid of my bow. I like my hair free. Errol, Ava, Ava and Tilly played all morning until it was time to go home. See you at our next tea party, Errol said as Ava stepped onto her scooter. Yes, yeah, see you there. I'm bringing a friend, Ava yelled as she sped away. Errol and Tilly the Teddy play together every day. They ride their bike in the backyard. They plant vegetables in the garden and they have sandwiches for lunch in the treehouse. And they have tea parties inside when it's raining.
And that is the end of our story. There's a picture of Tilly. So I hope the next time that you have somebody who is telling you something important about themselves, that you don't just hear what they have to say, but that you're really listening and thinking about what that means in your relationship to them and how it might change something that you're doing to help make them feel better and more valued. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a great week.